being drugged as well. Either Cobblepot drug Montoya himself, or someone else is using his revolutionary rhetoric. Either way, I need to find him. Let's put our drones in the air and start a search. I'll run a trace on his cell. In the meantime, we have to find out what we can do about this drug. The computer's been analyzing the chemicals from Montoya's bloodstream. Throw that up on the monitor. Let's see what we got. The residue I scan on Montoya is similar to the nerve agent I found at the docks. A little Let's bit more refined, though. It's ironic that Falcone died at the hands of someone drugged with his chemicals. Who'd have guessed that's how he'd meet his maker? Prone in his sickbed, surrounded by police who were ordered to protect him. Falcone got off easy by getting killed. He deserved much worse. Whoever did this was judge, jury, and executioner. No one should act as all three. I hope he told you something before he was killed. What did you learn from him? Practically family, he said. Family? Funny, I don't recall any Sunday dinners with the mob. It wasn't Falcone who called the hit. Nope. It was yeah, Hill. Well, I suppose that makes sense. Your father, Hill, and Falcone would have balanced each other out. Computers pinpointed reference points on the two compounds. Uh, so let's look at this cyphers. refined drug is like a weapon. It only took a small injection to strip Montoya of her moral filters and make her act on her base impulses. So it makes her go wild. Why? The men at the docks were doused with the base chemicals. The reaction was messy. They were out of control. So one makes them wild, the other one makes them... More animalistic. Both compounds seem stable, but they're quick to fall apart. Whoever processed it knew what they were doing. What could the creators of such a drug possibly have in mind? Fighting your wars is one thing, but drugging others to fight them for you. Oh, well, it took containers. With this drug, they can so... exploit anyone's baser impulses, the things they would otherwise control. Your drones are in positions to though, triangulate Cobblepot's location. That is a very big drone. Uh, let's check this one first. It's closest. We got that. Find her! Find her now! Send a strong message! Oh. Okay, that's a little weird. Let's try this one. Bring me her head! Are they referring to Selena? Maybe? Wow, I actually just figured here. I only have three drones, so... But they're all being bounced off the Skyline Club? Of course. He takes over the Falcone's. Skyline Club? Jesus, didn't even wait for Falcone's body to get cold, did you, Oz? Going to speak with him, Bruce? Bruce Wayne already tried talking with Cobblepot. It's time he met the Batman. You know, you think that he would actually go as Bruce and... Because he, uh, he did say, make sure you're on, you know what side you're on during the revolution. 
that would be the time for him to sit there and say, you know, just fake it. Yeah, your boss is kind of dead. Why is one of the the dudes green? Night, night. You lot, come check out this office. Where is? You can help me. Let him go. Batman! It's about time. You kill a crime boss, you'd expect a word of thanks from Gotham's number one vigilante. Oh, don't worry, I'll pass your gratitude on to those who made it happen. I said, I let, said him go. let him go. You hear that, Roland? That sounded like an order. I'll crush him. Now, now, have a little respect for the bat. Think he underestimates you. Is this about Falcone? We all saw how you felt about Falcone. Pounded him into a pump on live TV. If you were truly the defender of this city, you'd have finished the job yourself. Admit it, Falcone deserved to die. Vermin like Falcone, they deserve to be stomped out. Believe me, I know. I don't kill my enemies. Maybe that's why you got so many. Might be time to reconsider. As a show of good faith, I'm gonna let this one go. How's about we talk this through? We helped you with Falcone. Now, if we could just cut out the rest of the rot, like Wayne and Hill, ordinary folks might be able to breathe. What is it about this place that attracts criminal scum like you? What does Bruce Wayne have to do with this? Pretty boy's got himself a fat bank account, thanks to his parents. Only problem is, they took that money from people that couldn't fight back. Here's the thing, I actually admire you, Batman. We both want the same kinds of things. Me and my people, we've got big plans for Gotham. They found Catwoman. What do you want with her? We had a deal. She didn't make good on it. So sorry this didn't work out, mate. I'd stay and watch. I would, but I still got a Catwoman problem to deal with. Or oh, what's her name again? Selena. Yes! Oh, beautiful name. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that guy hits hard. Have a seat, big guy. Gonna uh. have to try harder than this. button right wow for a big guy he is very quick <laughs> Alfred track down Selena Kyle I'll find her right away Uh, I need to talk to you urgent. Uh, stop. Uh, stack to deck. 6 p.m. No caps. No, no capes.
I think you come back to this place like in the other games for this one. Dancing and fighting. Not necessarily in that order. Yeah, it's more drinking, fighting, than maybe dancing. With whoever's still conscience or breathing. You really. lost? Because I don't have time for tourists. Looks like you walked into the wrong bar. Uh, yeah, I'm looking for a woman. <laughs> you wouldn't be the first. Selena Kyle, I'm told she practically lives here. <laughs> Selena, huh? You don't strike me as her type. You'd be surprised. Hey, don't I know you? It is you. Knew it. The cops take all your fancy clothes? <laughs> Are you trying to lay low? Of course, you're not really the low-lying type. Uh, buy you a drink? How about a few? <laughs> it ain't like you're short on cash. Leave him alone, Frank. Man's just trying to have a quiet drink. You didn't seem to mind the company. Whatever. Selena, I need to tell you something important. Better be an apology. You were supposed to take care of our mutual problem. Instead, you just pissed him off. Well, I've met a couple of his goons myself. Your client isn't one for subtlety. The man who hired you, his name is Oswald Cobblepot. Never heard of him. He goes by Penguin. Penguin? Shit. Ugh, you've gotta be kidding me. You should have just killed me on that rooftop. I'm dead anyway. When you screw someone over, you really screw them. The penguin. <laughs> penguin can't take on both of us, and I'm not going anywhere. Clearly you know something about him. I only know him by reputation. I'm surprised you never heard of him. He's a big deal across the pond. He's more dangerous than you think. I grew up with Oz. He's the first real friend I ever had. I'm not surprised. Questionable morals and a penchant for theatrics? You two have a lot in common. He was sane when we were kids, apparently. The question is, well, why of. Gotham? Why now? Revolution. It's not like he's hurting for crime syndicates abroad. He stole mind-altering chemicals from Falcone. Hmm. Drugs aren't really Penguin's M.O. Yeah, well, maybe he's branching out. Well, I'm not sticking around here to find out. Oswald, Penguin is about to unleash God knows what on the city. You can't just leave. A good reason not to be here when he does. You want to stay? That's your choice. If Penguin is everything you say, there's no tree high enough for you to climb. He will find you. So what are you suggesting? The bat helps the cat? Yes. The cat helps the bat. Bruce, sweetie, the gallant knight thing, it really is adorable. But what would Harvey think? The two of us, working together? After all, I'm not really an all-work-and-no-play kind of girl. Harvey knows that. I'm sorry, why are, why are we talking about Harvey? He's your friend, isn't he? Just seeing how much of a conscience you really have. You and I... Oh, goody. Osman. You were right. Selena Kyle? Penguin says hello.
I don't know if the song will actually play with, through the for my stream it for you guys. If you care about your own skin, you'll get the hell out. Yeah, sorry, but no. He's got a knife, and he's got a pipe. playing with, with that knife. That was cool. <sighs> He's trained with these kind of weapons. Or at least whatever the two of them are called. Pretty good for such a pretty boy. Come on, this way. <laughs> and just leave really quick. Oh, let's just go for it. We're this close. Let's get out of here. I'll take the rooftops. You take the alley. Wait. When will I see you again? <sighs> when you least expect it. You shouldn't trust me, you know. She's still using my gadget. Alfred, I'm uploading the contents of a smartphone to the back computer. Check to see if there's anything on the phone we can use. Uh, processing it now. Is everything all right? There are quite a few police cars convening on your location. It's fine. Has the back computer found anything yet? Bruce, there are a number of messages here. All from Mayor Hill. Mayor Hill? The last voicemail is his. Listen to this. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. 
this is very shady indeed. Whatever they're talking about, it doesn't sound good. They're coming after me, though. Who is setting me up? Penguin's gonna take a shot at me. If Hill's talking to Penguin, he must know something. It's time I paid him a visit. I agree. The mayor must have answers, but if I may offer a word of advice. People look up to Batman after how you handle Falcone. Terrorizing the mayor could damage that goodwill. Then again, Batman's methods would certainly get him talking immediately. Bruce would have to depend on his guile to loosen Hill's lips. Uh, if I go with, if I, I'm gonna try this. I don't really want to have to rely on Batman that much. Bruce is the smart choice. And this way, you know, it's we're using we're gonna be using Bruce, so. Oh, there's a broken elevator. And a broken de uh I feel sorry for his cubicle that is. Sorry, the mayor's busy. Do you have an appointment? Uh the mayor's doing debate prep. He really can't be disturbed right now. I was really hoping you'd be able to help me out. Who knows? Maybe I could return the favor one day. It seems you do have an appointment, Mr. Wayne. Silly me. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna hire her onto the business because why not? Bruce Wayne? Finally, you've come to see me. Of course, only after your name's been dragged through the mud. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad to see you, but you're a day late and a great many dollars short. This isn't a social call, Hill. I'm here for answers. Well, well, straight to business. And I was going to have Deborah make you a martini. Your father and I, we took this city and made it ours. Falcone too, rest his soul. We built everything we have. You were born with it. A young man like you wouldn't understand what it takes to rise to the top. Oh, I understand. Very well. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. Sounds like me. It is you. So, what's your point? I take it you have one. Or are you just fond of my dulcet tones? Why attack me? Because of Dent and the campaign? I'm in Cobblepot's crosshairs, same as you. But you fed them dirt on me. Only the files I seized from Wayne Manor. Your father, Falcone, and I, we had ways of getting anything we wanted. How do you think your family got the land for Wayne Tower? Cobblepot wants retribution because we took his family's land. Oswald's family signed it over to us, along with the rest of their assets. If that's true, then Oswald has a right to be angry. Is there any proof? Your father and I hid our tracks quite well. There's so much more I could share, if only we were friends. I could help you deal with Penguin, let you in on some family history. But I'm caught in a dogfight for my political career. And my rival has bottomless pockets. Now, if that rival were to say, drop out, or his advertising spend were to dry up, I might have a lot more resources for helping a new friend. Oh. That's the thing, I could... I could use Hill to my advantage. Hmm. I'm gonna lie to him and say I could do that. Fine. But I'm not gonna. That's what it takes to earn your friendship. I knew you'd see the light. It's time we really talked. Power is an old oak. The trunk stands strong, but it's the roots that hold it up. And the thickest of them lead to Arkham. Arkham Asylum. Your father, me, Falcone. We used it to get our enemies out of the way. 
drugged and declared them insane. It made it easy to take their things. Thomas was the doctor. I leveraged my political power to ease the transfer of assets. So that's what Oz wants to punish me for? His mother was one of our last patients. You can hardly expect him to think rationally. Gotham was chaos before we took control. At least Understand. now there's a semblance of order. Listen, Bruce. Now that we're back on the same side, your father's last gift to me. They're yours. The keys to the city. Thank you. That could come in handy. Hamilton. Call me Hamilton. Penguin's gathered quite a few victims to his crusade. But that's a problem for another day. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to prep for the debate. My door is always open, Bruce. Next time, make an appointment. Stay away from the debate. It's not safe. <laughs> Miss my chance to humiliate Dent. It'll take more than Cobblepot to keep me away. I warned him. Alfred, get a warning to Gordon. Tell him to increase security of the debate. Hill seems to think he's safe, but Penguin's still out there. I got what I wanted though, those keys to the city could come in handy later on. I wonder what else is on here. As per your request, Lieutenant Gordon has tripled security at the debate. Thanks, Alfred. It's a plan of the old Monarch Theater. The auditorium where the debate's being held. Hmm. I hacked into the image feeds from the security cameras at the auditorium. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. Hells, details about your father. They must have been quite upsetting. I can't imagine how you must feel. To learn so much in so little time. To hear their crimes detailed. First by a Falcone, then by a snake like Hill. It makes me question myself. You shouldn't, Bruce. You are your own man. And True. the city needs you, now more than ever. I'll, uh, I'll leave you to it then. I think we need to send Alfred on a vacation. Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent appears to be hitting some potholes on his path to the mayor's office. Despite the backing of billionaire Bruce Wayne, rumors persist that the candidate is having trouble paying his campaign staff and making ad buys. A Dent spokesperson said these rumors are nothing more than a smear tactic perpetuated by the incumbent Mayor Hill's campaign. Uh, let's see what I can do here. Uh, yeah, not gonna really about those. Nobody goes to Gotham's dive bars expecting a quiet... Let's take a look. Wait a minute. The images on these cameras haven't changed. Something's wrong. Penguin's men may have commandeered the cameras on their end. We could just be looking at what they want us to see. Yep, it's Warn Gordon footage. that he may have visitors. I have to get down there now. They use looped footage.
Harvey needs to get out of there. Oh, we did have Lucius Fox. Hey, Bruce. Man, I'm glad you called. I needed to talk to you, actually. Something's come up. Something that's... Harvey, listen to me. Stay away from the debate. What? No, Bruce, I I'm already here. Kind of crazy. Security's on high alert because of this threat from some guy named Penguin. They have me in some back room until the debate begins. For my own protection, they said. A little bit of a kill, if you ask me. Uh, look. Bruce, I didn't want to do this over the phone, but... My advisors are telling me that I need to... <clears throat> that I need to distance myself from you. Until all this mess with your family blows over. I, I get it, it's the smart move, but let's talk about that later. I'm glad you see it that way. What with the allegations in the press, and now this mess with Falcone... Yeah, true. ...you're a liability. <laughs> but here's the thing, Bruce. Without your money... I am dead in the water. I know this is a delicate topic, but I need you to keep me afloat. I may have to trash you in public. But you and me, we all know the truth about our friendship. As long as you... No matter are... what, we need a new mayor. Hill needs to be removed. Fine, I knew you'd see it that way. Listen, I hate to push you, but I... I need to know. Can I count on your money, Bruce? Whatever it takes to save Gotham. I'll always support you, Harvey. Oh, thank you, Bruce. Thank you. You don't know how much this means to me. To Gotham. I'm sorry, Bruce. The makeup person is here. <laughs> Guess she needs to put on my face. I hope you can still watch the debate somewhere. Uh, no matter what I have to say tonight, remember. You are always my friend. Like I said, I was gonna... 